NATO countries prepare population for war with Russia. All civilians may join military reserve units. Lithuania is establishing permanent military training centers that will operate nationwide to prepare personnel to serve in the rear during war, Defense Minister Lorinas Kasiunas told. A total of 27 command headquarters that are due to be fully operational next year will be set up in the major cities of the NATO member countries in an effort to prepare the public to send a deterrent signal to the enemy, the official said. The Baltic States Defense Ministry expects such command posts to become a link between the Lithuanian armed forces and the citizens who can defend the country with arms in the event of war. We are talking about the fact that the public will already know where to go if they want to contribute to the defense of their homes and country, Kasiunas explained. He further clarified the purpose of these territorial defense units by saying that they will fight against diverse groups, protect objects and carry out other tasks. The bill submitted to the Lithuanian Parliament, the CIMAS, envisages the command centers having units under their command made up of existing reserve troops, riflemen, as well as all owners of firearms, including hunters. According to Kasiunas, some 10,600 members in civilian reserves, around 2,000 riflemen and 800 members of the National Defense Volunteer Forces are expected to join. The official encouraged the wider public to enlist, saying that all civilians may join and that everyone will find their place in the units. Earlier this week, Germany sent its first military unit to Lithuania as part of a plan to have a full armor brigade permanently stationed in the Baltic state. It is believed that all this is related to Lithuania's preparation for a possible war with Russia. There are warnings that Russia may attack the Baltic countries after Ukraine. Putin boasts of strikes on Ukrainian energy infrastructure, calls them demilitarization. Vladimir Putin has boasted of Russian strikes on Ukrainian energy infrastructure facilities and called them demilitarization at the meeting with Alexander Lukashenko, president of Belarus. If everything is looped into solving the issues we have been talking about from the very beginning, and in the energy sector they are connected in particular with solving one of the tasks we set for ourselves, demilitarization, the Russian president said. Putin claimed that Russian strikes on energy infrastructure affect the defense industrial complex of Ukraine. The impact is direct, Putin said. As a result of the Russian large-scale attack, fires broke out at energy infrastructure facilities in Lviv, Odessa and Zaporizhia Oblast, and the debris of downed drones fell in the open in Mykolaiv Oblast. It was reported earlier that the Russians attacked energy facilities in Kyiv and Kharkiv oblasts. After another missile attack by the Russians, President Volodymyr Zelensky stated that Ukraine needs strong air defense and other defensive support, not ignoring and lengthy discussions. Putin has called the peace summit in Switzerland, to which Russia has not been invited, a panopticon. As you know, the idea of holding some conference in Switzerland is being prompted now and we are not invited. Moreover, they believe there is nothing for us to do there and at the same time, they say that nothing can be resolved without us. And since we are not going, they say that we are refusing to negotiate. It is some kind of panopticon, Putin said. For reference, a panopticon is a design for a high security prison building with a control system that allows a single warden to observe all the prisoners at once without being noticed. Putin also claimed that he is in favor of negotiations, but not in the format of imposing schemes that have nothing to do with reality. The Russian leader also noted that Russia does not aim to put everything in a difficult position. Thank you.